Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about the presentation. What is placenta and what are the different types of the presentation? Today we will be discuss this thing. First of all, before discussing the type of the presentation, you must know that what is placenta. So, placenta is a swollen flattened structure found in ovary found in ovary on which ovules are attached on which ovules are attached are you getting what is placenta placenta is a swollen structure which is swollen flattened structure found in the ovary on which the ovules are attached okay now there may be many ovules found inside the ovary fine now what is placentation what is placentation so the arrangement of ovule arrangement of ovule inside the arrangement of ovules inside the ovary is called placentation arrangement of ovule inside the ovary is called as placentation fine now you must know about the types of placentation how many types of presentations are there types of presentations so there are total six type of the presentations fine the very first one is out of the six type the very first one is marginal presentation marginal presentation okay now what is marginal presentation so he, here the placenta here the placenta forms a ridge what happens here the placenta forms a ridge along the ventral suture of ovary and ovules are found on the margin of ridge again i am repeating here the placenta forms a ridge along the ventral suture of the ovary and the ovules are found on the margins of the ridge see for the best example is the margin presentation is the leguminosi leguminosi family say for i am quoting example here there is a sub family of leguminosi known as the fabaceae right fabaceae or you can call it as pepi leo nesi pepi leo nesi okay so fabaceae is the sub family of the family leguminosi and in this fabaceae family what type of presentation is found marginal presentation is found okay and uh, you can see here that how the ovules are arranged so if you have seen the pod of if you have seen the pod of or the legume of the pea or the legume of the pea this is the legume fruit or the uh, we can say it is pod so this is the ridge and on this ridge at the margins of this ridge what are present right what are present the ovules are present fine so this is known as the marginal presentation i can quote an example also here that is the p fabaceae family is also called as the p family and the most common example is the p in which what is found marginal presentation is found okay so this is the first type fine 
now coming to the second type of the presentation and that is called as the exile presentation now what is exile presentation second category is exile presentation now here the ovary is ovary is multi locular ovary here is multi locular and septums are present septums present and ovules are found on the central axis ovules are found on the central axis so what is exile presentation ovary is multilocular here and septums are present and the ovules are found on the central axis say for if this is the ovary if this is the ovary and these are the septums what are these these are the septums due to the presence of the septums due to the presence of the septum the ovary become multilocular the ovary become multilocular and the ovules are born on the central axis say for if this is the central axis then ovules are born here ovules are born on the central axis so such type of the presentation is called as exile presentation the best example is malvesi family malvesi family say for i can quote an example here that is the china rose the most common example of the malvesi family is china rose and in china rose exile presentation is found we can give another example of a family known as solanaceae solanaceae family in solanaceae family also the exile presentation are found say for here tomato right brinjal potato all are the members of solanaceae family and they also represent the exile presentation fine now the third one is parietal presentation parietal presentation parietal presentation now what is parietal presentation so we will write here that here the ovules are found attached to inner wall of ovary here the ovules are found attached to inner wall of ovary or peripheral part or we can say they are attached to the peripheral part so parietal presentation here the ovules are found attached to the inner wall of the ovary or the peripheral part and always remember here the ovary is here the ovary is uni locular here the ovary is uni locular say for i am making a uni locular ovary and the ovules are found at the inner wall of the ovary this is the wall of the ovary so they are found attached to inner walls of the ovary or i can say that they are ovules are found at the peripheral part of the ovary or on the walls of the ovary now parietal presentation is found in cruciferi family the best example of the cruciferi family is the mustard is the mustard are you getting so cruciferi best example of the cruciferi family is the best example of the cruciferi family is the mustard okay now one thing to be remembered is that that initially initially in mustard initially in mustard the ovary is unilocular but due to formation of but due to formation of false septum called replum but due to formation of false septum called replum ovary become ovary become bi locular it happens in mustard and all okay say for 
idea it was uninocular ovary but later on what happens a false septum is formed like this this is the false septum and because of which the ovary instead of unilocular become bilocular okay so this is the third type of the presentation known as the parietal presentation fine now coming to the fourth type of the presentation and that is known as the free central presentation free central presentation free central presentation and now where is this free central presentation found it is found in dianthus it is found in dianthus and primrose this type of the presentation is found in dianthus and primrose now what is free central presentation here ovary is unilocular here ovary is unilocular septum absent here the septum are absent in the ovary here the septum are absent in the ovary here the septum are present, uh, absent in the ovary and ovules are born ovules are born on central axis ovules are born on central axis now see the big difference between axial presentation and the free central presentation in axial presentation you have seen that the septums were present and ovules were found on the central axis here the ovules are born on the central axis like this but you can see here that septums are absent so this type of the presentation is called as free central presentation and it is the feature of dianthus and primrose dianthus and primrose clear so this was the fourth type of the presentation now coming to the next type of the presentation and that is called as next type of the presentation is what that is basal presentation basal presentation now here ovary is unilocular here ovary is unilocular and ovule is born ovule is found at ovule is found at base of ovary ovule is found at base of ovary say for this is the ovary this is the ovary so the ovule is attached at the base of the ovary okay so this is what the ovule and it is found at the base of the ovary so that's why it is called as the basal presentation the best example of the basal basal presentation is the compositi compositi family compositi family you know it is also called as asteraceae family it is also called asteraceae family i will be quoting example here say for sunflower say for marigold all belong to the asteraceae family and they have basal presentation not only this there is a monocot family known as the gramini gramini family or the monocot family uh, also called as poaceae poaceae family in it basal presentation is found for example wheat right maize barley right all have basal presentation all have basal presentation is it clear and the last type of the presentation last type of the presentation which is generally a uncommon presentation right and it is called as super facial it is called as superficial presentation superficial presentation now the superficial presentation is found in water lily this superficial presentation is found in water lily here ovary is ovary is multi locular ovary is multi locular septum are present septum present and ovules ovules are 
and ovules are born on walls of locules walls of locules say for if this is the ovary this is the ovary this is the central axis and these are the septums due to which because of the presence of the septums the ovary is multilocular ovary is multilocular and say for if these are the locules if these are the locules these are all locules and these are the walls or the septums of the locules okay so where the ovules are born the ovules are born on the walls of locules like this they are found on the walls of locule in chain like fashion they are born on the walls of locules in chain like fashion like this they are present in chain like fashion right and this type of the presentation is called as superficial presentation which is found in water lily okay so these are the six type of the presentations i am repeating once again marginal presentation axial presentation parietal presentation free central presentation basal presentation and the superficial presentation so today uh, in this video we have discussed that what is placenta and what are the different type of the presentations in the coming video right we will be discussing uh, many more things regarding the plant uh, morphology so thanks a lot Thank you.